What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about buying a laptop with a GeForce RTX 2050? Perhaps you're imagining superior graphics performance, or maybe you're envisioning an unparalleled gaming experience. Without a doubt, the GeForce RTX 2050 packs a punch, boasting features that are sure to meet, if not exceed, your expectations. From its impressive speed to its cutting-edge support for DLSS, this graphics card is a game-changer. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of GeForce RTX 2050. How does the GeForce RTX 2050 stack up against other graphic cards in the market? Let's find out. When we put the GeForce RTX 2050 head-to-head -head with the GeForce GTX 1650, it's clear there's a new champion in town. Our three DMARC test results show the RTX 2050 motoring along at a pace that's 23% faster than its predecessor. That's roughly a quarter higher performance which is significant especially for gamers. But the RTX 2050 isn't just about raw speed, it's also equipped with RT cores and supports DLSS, making it a far more suitable choice for gaming than the GTX 1650. Now let's bring the GeForce MX 450 into the mix. The RTX 2050 leaves this card in the dust, clocking in at more than double the speed. That's an impressive leap forward in performance. When it comes to video encoding, the RTX 2050 also stands tall against the Intel Iris Xe iGPU with its 96 computing units. It's both more powerful and more efficient, which is exactly what you'd expect from a newer generation card. However, the waters get a little murkier when we introduce the Radeon 680M iGPU of the latest AMD Ryzen 6000 mobile processors. AMD claims that the Radeon 680M is twice as fast as the GeForce MX 450, putting it on par with the RTX 2050. This means that laptops with Ryzen 6900HS and Ryzen 6800U processors can perform just as well without the RTX 2050, thanks to the built-in Radeon 680M GPU. But let's not forget what the RTX 2050 brings to the table. It's armed with 2048 CUDA cores and 4 GB of GDDR6 memory that clocks in at 14 GHz. It's based on the GA107 GPU, the same as the GeForce RTX 3050, but with a reduced bus and lower clock speed. The GeForce RTX 2050 clearly leads the pack in certain aspects, but it's not without competition. Now that we've compared the GeForce RTX 2050 with other graphics cards, what makes it truly stand out? Indeed, there are several key aspects that set the GeForce RTX 2050 apart. Firstly, let's talk about its impressive computing power. This graphics card is equipped with 2048 CUDA cores. This massive number of cores contributes to its exceptional performance, allowing you to enjoy high-quality gaming and video editing experiences. But the prowess of the GeForce RTX 2050 doesn't stop there. It also boasts 4 GB of GDDR6 memory. This memory operates at a frequency of 14 GHz, providing the speed necessary for smooth and responsive graphics rendering. This feature is particularly beneficial for gamers who demand high frame rates and crisp visuals from their games. Interestingly, this model is based on the GA107 GPU, the same as the GeForce RTX 3050, but with a reduced bus and a lower clock speed. Despite this, it still delivers remarkable performance. Another key point about the GeForce RTX 2050 is its compatibility and efficiency with Ryzen 6900HS and Ryzen 6800U processors. If you're using a laptop based on these processors, you can expect to see a significant boost in your graphics performance without the need for an additional video card. In conclusion, the GeForce RTX 2050 is a powerful contender in the graphics card market offering a combination of performance and efficiency that is hard to beat. So, is the GeForce RTX 2050 the right graphics card for your laptop? As we've explored, it's a powerhouse boasting 23% faster speeds than the GeForce GTX 1650 and outperforming the Intel Iris Xe iGPU in video encoding. Yet it's a tight race with the Radeon 680M iGPU found in the latest AMD Ryzen 6000 mobile processors. Equipped with RT cores and supporting DLSS, the GeForce RTX 2050 is undoubtedly a strong contender. Remember, the best graphics card for you depends on your individual needs and preferences. Happy shopping!